Now, in this part of the question then, we've got to find the series expansion for f of x. And we've already got that f of x is 4 over 3x plus 2 all squared plus 3 over 1 minus x. So what do they mean when they say the series expansion? Well, basically it's the binomial expansion. So what is the binomial expansion? Well, here it is just in case you're forgetting it. You'll find this in your formula books, although you most probably might not see it with an a here. It'll have an x. I've written an a just because I prefer it this way and it's easier to work with, especially in this example where we've also got x's. 1 plus a then to the power n is identical to 1 plus n a plus n times n minus 1 a squared over 2 factorial and so on. And we tend to use this formula when n is not a positive integer. Okay, And you'll see how this develops here. What we need to do is change each of these two terms. Okay, For the first term, the more complicated of the two terms, we need to think of this as 4 times 1 over 3x plus 2 all squared. And 1 over 3x plus 2 all squared is the same as 3x plus 2 to the power minus 2. So we can write this as 4 times 3x plus 2 to the power minus 2. For this term, we can think of this as 3 times 1 over 1 minus x. Bring the 1 minus x up to the top, write it as a power, and you've got 3 times 1 minus x to the power minus 1. I'd also encourage you to write quite small in binomial expansion questions, okay? Um, because they do end up stretching out right across the uh, page. So it's always a good idea to see if you can actually fit them all in on one line. Okay, next line. Now, when we look at this term, well, this, this term's fine actually. Look, it, you've got it in the form 1 plus a to the power n. Your a is going to be the plus minus x. Okay, your the a is minus x and the n is minus one. But it's this term that's the awkward one. Okay, because you must have a one at the start of the bracket. I'll come over here to show you what I mean. Now, if we look at this part, three x plus two to the power minus two, this needs to be modified. Three x plus two to the power minus two. We need to change it around first of all. We need to get the constant at the front and that would be that 2. So we can rewrite this as 2 plus 3x all to the power minus 2. Now what we need to do is to make this into a 1. And we can get around this by putting a square bracket to the power minus 2. And what we look at is the 2 plus 3x. We pull out the 2 and then we write a 1. 2 times 1 is that 2. And then 2 times something else gives us the plus 3x. And that's got to be plus 3x over 2. Now, this changes to 2 to the power minus 2. 2 to the power minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus 3x over 2 to the power minus 2. Okay, so we need this idea to insert in here. So let's do that. What we've got is 4 then and we've seen that this part can be written as 2 to the minus 2. Now 2 to the minus 2 is 1 over 2 squared or a quarter. So we've got this 4 times a quarter. Well I'll just put 4 over 4 for the time being. And then we've got the 1 plus 3x over 2 to the power minus 2. And then we've got this term here, plus 3 times 1 minus x to the power minus 1. Now 4 over 4 is 1, so we can essentially ignore that. And what we're going to do now is just expand 1 plus 3x over 2 to the power minus 2 using the binomial expansion. So our n is the minus 2, and the a in this example is 3x over 2. And that's why I say, in your formula book, it will say 1 plus x to the power n, most probably. And it sometimes is confusing for people to replace x with 3x over 2. Seems a bit odd. But what we're doing is the a 
is the 3x over 2. Okay, so anyway, let's go from here. So according to the formula, it's 1 plus n times a. So it's 1 plus n, the power, minus 2, put things in brackets, times a. a is the 3x over 2, so 3x over 2. Now writing quite small because we've got quite a lot to do here. Then we need the next term, so it's plus and then we have n times n minus 1, so that's going to be the power, minus 2 for n. Subtract 1 from this, so that's minus 3. Then we divide it by 2 factorial, so it's all divided by 2 factorial. Now 2 factorial is 2 times 1. I'm not going to write it as 2 factorial, I'm just going to put it as 2 times 1. And then we've got a squared, so that's going to be the 3x over 2 all squared. Now we're asked to expand this up to the term in x squared, so we need to write plus and so on. We can ignore the other terms, but do write plus and so on, three dots there. Square off the bracket, and now we're ready for this term here. So it's plus 3, open square bracket, and away we go again. a is now minus x, and n is the minus 1, so it is 1 plus n, the power, so that's going to be minus 1, okay, times a, a is minus x, so again put everything in brackets, then it's plus n, n being minus 1, take 1 away from the power again, so that's now minus 2, then it's all over 2 factorial, so that's 2 by 1 again, and then a squared, so that is now my minus x all squared. We're up to the term in x squared for this, so it's plus and so on again, and then just square off the bracket. So by writing fairly small, being able to get that neatly in on that line. Okay, so this is identical to, now all we need to do is just clean up each of these terms. So the first term, just simply 1. This term is going to be minus 3x. The next term cleans up to plus 27x squared over 4. Okay, and then you've got and so on. Now we come to this bracket here. I'm going to expand this at the same time. So we've got 1 here, 3 1's are 3, so we've got plus 3. Then we've got plus x here, so we're going to get 3x plus 3x. And then for this one, we end up with x squared times it with a 3 again, and you've got plus 3x squared, and then plus, and so on. So just group these terms together now. 1 and the 3 gives us the 4. Minus 3x and 3x, they cancel, and then you've got 27 quarters x squared plus 3x squared, and that comes out at plus 39 over 4x squared. And although we've been asked to write it up to the term in x squared, make sure you still put plus and so on on the end. Okay, well there you go. There's the binomial expansion for f of x.